Hey guys, how are you? I have been well and I'm reading all your comments and loving them on my YouTube video that I posted after ages and I truly truly appreciate your sentiments, your love towards me and your feelings. Now I did want to address this one thing is that I, I know I did say that um, I felt like you don't want to watch me but I don't think I meant it that way. I do know that um, for a fact that I, like someone actually wrote to me, one of you and I won't say her name, but she actually reached out to me privately and I did appreciate her message very much. And it is true that I, I kind of was doing this content on here for the last five years, no, before that too, I guess. It started off um, that way and then all of a sudden I dropped you like a hot potato. That's what, how she phrases it, which I agree actually. And it's not your fault that you're not, uh, it's not, and it's not your fault that I'm not getting the number of engagement that I would want, but uh, it is my fault and I completely am to, I take it upon me and I own it by saying that I was not blaming you guys. Uh, just there's so many things happening on the personal front. Not everything has been hunky-dory and uh, it's just been a little hard for me, to be honest and to keep up with content all the time. Although I love this space here, I love all of you. It's a place I feel safe and I cherish and I love to share with you. And yes, I did uh, just stop being consistent or just left you, uh, yeah, like she said, dropped you like a hot potato. And it's true, I haven't been consistent. Whereas I was doing weekly vlogs, I also stopped doing that and I didn't even give you a warning. So I'm sure that um, as you're waiting for me to upload videos and then I don't because of whatever I'm doing or busy or whatever's happening <clears throat> with me on a personal level but then I should have said to you and warned you about that which I didn't so yes here's me just owning it and thank you for the love it's not like you stopped watching me or stopped loving me I think it's me who stopped posting and engaging so much even if it's a Sonal Says which I'll come back uh, and start doing Sonal Says because I think those are uh, those are um, topics and discussions I really love to have with you all. And then um, I understand that, of course, we don't judge anyone here. I mean, you can, but for me, I believe in a safe space uh, for us all. And thank you for understanding and your love. That's all I wanted to say and clarify that it's not that you guys disappeared or you didn't love me. It's me who disappeared and obviously it's not very fair on my part to keep you waiting without letting you know or if I am not going to be coming then I should be letting you know so you don't just continue waiting and you know and I and I understand that and I appreciate uh, and you have all been very patient with me on this journey with me you have loved me you have given me light you have given me positive vibes and it is only fair that um, uh, I share with you my journey going forwards whatever that may be and uh, yeah, take you along with me on this journey that we call life. And it doesn't matter whether we rebrand the channel or not. Um, but as long as I think I'm here and I make effort because I can see that it's also about effort, which I haven't made on here. Like I said, I didn't feel like picking up the camera. And then, yeah, I didn't feel like doing so. But yes, I'll try to make more effort and I'll take you along this journey with me whatever it may be like i said and just share my life daily with you and what i feel and what i'm wearing and all that great stuff so thank you for your understanding i just wanted to hop on here quickly before i end the evening uh, i am working on my laptop so it's been a full day of work for me and all that good stuff and then we'll, we'll speak tomorrow guys so if you see me in this blue big skirt i'm loving it although I need it taken in about an inch on the waist, but no worries. This is by Sonal Haria. I love the sky blue. It is, wow, why am I wearing a skirt? Should I explain? Well, I could wear anything. You guys know that. Jeans and who did that? One of the kids. Anyway, so my Simba Maharani t-shirt, which I love. And I don't know if you guys saw, I posted or reshared an interview I did yesterday with Karen Nost at TV47. So... I'll link that somewhere here in the description box below. And this is the skirt. It's got pockets, the Chanel bag and uh, Louboutin trainers because, because today I am actually taking the kids for their annual school bonfire and lots of games and all that. 
So it is a Saturday. I am ready to have some fun with moms and kids and raffles and prizes and lucky dip and all that. So that's that, guys. This is my outfit. I did not, gosh, yesterday show you my out. Gosh, yesterday I was exhausted. I did not show you my outfit, but I was just wearing. Basically, it's in this video right here. This interview with Karen Nost, uh, Karen Karimi Nost, and uh, yeah. Uh, it was just the pink self portrait dress some heels and we spoke everything shoes luxury and good things so i am off guys i have broken my nail right here i don't know when i'll fix that but yeah this is it i wanted to share this with you i cannot vlog there so yeah here it is do you love it the girl said i look like elsa that is okay i don't mind being the princess Hey guys, I am having a cup of masala tea and I'm going out for an early dinner to catch up with a friend. Leather pants, oh my god. These are also now loose. These are petite from, gosh, they're old. I'm not sure actually, maybe River Island. Boots, a bodysuit, this lovely jacket. Uh, do you guys remember this? My Chanel brooch I love so much and then the matching earrings. These ones, I just put some extensions, a few, not too many in my hair, and gave it like a three bubbles. Did my makeup, and I'm actually feeling hot. So, this is my outfit, and I thought I'm going to probably use, I've not pulled out the Birkins in a long time, so maybe that's what I'm going to do. So this is it. Ignore the mess behind me. But outfit. I love it. See? So if I'm hot, I can just take this off. But then I made a boo boo. I have some makeup on. On it somewhere. So that's that, guys. That's my look for today. It is a Monday. It is a Monday. And for Monday, yes. I think I'm going to. It's a Monday. I'm going to go to oysters at Elena's and then have some oysters and then be back. Yes. Hey guys, it's been a few days. I am exhausted. Can you tell? Yes, excuse this hot mess. But I am just from school. It was a uh, sports day for the juniors. It was amazing. Elia got two medals. I'm very, very proud of her. Excellent. Well done. And I know I have not been on here. Gosh. But I've been reading all your comments today. And thank you so much for the love, honestly, that you've given me. And I appreciate it completely because now my whole mindset has changed. And therefore, if my channel's um, perspective or content is going to change that you are consuming, then I will take you along on this journey with me, whatever it may be. And I'm just happy. I My whole mindset has changed towards this, that it doesn't matter. Um, I know earlier I said that I don't feel relevant, but I can see that those who love me continue watching me and encouraging me. So I am really blessed and uh, to read all your warm comments on uh, your dms on instagram and everywhere i truly appreciate it and i do not take you for granted at all having said that yeah it's been a, a busy day a busy weekend a busy monday is it oh yeah is it what day is it gosh it is a tuesday see that's why I'm, I'm a busy bee everywhere but yeah this is my simba t-shirt today i was wearing very sporty gym trainers and copper pants and I am just lying down now because it's almost 6 p.m. And I had a black coffee. And I'm going to probably watch some Netflix. And then, um, what else? Oh, Crystal from Beauty Galore Kenya sent me some amazing jewelry pieces. I think once I rest, I'm going to get changed. And then I will share those with you. Uh, the jewelry pieces from Beauty Galore Kenya. I will link them down below in the description their instagram handle she does amazing jewelry and she sent me all this jewelry i'm so grateful crystal thank you i cannot wait to style it and when i do i'll share it with you guys as well uh what else i am feeling a bit under the weather i feel like fluish uh but i think it's just weather it's hot and then it's cold and what else is happening uh yeah so crystal sent me that what else is happening um what 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 festive season i don't even have a christmas tree put up at home still thinking about the presents and i don't know what we're gonna do just don't know but we'll see sides and um, you know we thought the best way to illustrate our stories 
is through some bit of artistry and through some painting. Look at this. The setup is so nice. I'm here. Dress code was nude. Yeah, we've been looking your shade, your story. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's me. So, guys, so far, this. You see what I painted? Simba. Oh. The music stopped, it started again. And I'm wearing this pearl number. The dress code was nude, your shade of nude. Perfect Sunday, perfect. outfit is just chilled this gorgeous Indian Lucknowy dress and yours truly it's chill mode guys it's chill mode yeah oh that lights better there and I want to wash my hair I think this evening or tomorrow it's grown a lot I want to blow dry it straight and then yeah that's the plan I will see you guys later guys it is Friday I just got back from school it was uh, and he had a lovely nativity play it was really nice and oh look at these two look at these two look at these two anyway outfit what is going on there what is going on with you both so this is what i was wearing i've had it hey stop it i've had it a couple of years uh it is label rita kumar from mumbai it's a beautiful black blouse and a skirt which i tucked in then just these H and M mules, and it was beautiful. Now there is my name six on Halloween's event. It ran actually from three pm, but I was at school. So there's a she's come up with a new product launch. It's a makeup of course, a new new product. Uh, I think it's in collaboration with an artist. I'm not sure. It's very colorful. Dress code is colorful. I'm so exhausted, so I'm still debating whether I should go for an hour or should I just cancel and rest because I'm exhausted. But if I do go, then I, maybe let me just get something to eat. Maybe let me just get something to eat first and then I will decide. Outfit is colorful dress code. This is not so colorful, but it's very, very pretty. And it's also got a, a bow on the back. You can see. Very pretty. It's got a bow on the back. I don't know if you can see it there. So this is it. Oh, I ignore that mess. And yeah. Hey guys, so I'm really late. Yesterday I did not end up going for the Candace Cosmetic new product launch. Gosh, I was so exhausted. I was feeling like my bones are hurting. My legs were hurting. I guess it's also that time of the month. I couldn't make it and I'm so gutted. I mean, I'm much better today. Went to Elena's. She's a... Um, Launching at Kashmir by Kony, uh Coco Parfum Deluxe, so perfumes, and that's it's called a Blue Affair. The dress, so that's what it is, and the dress code is a Blue Affair. I am fashionably late, because I was again debating whether to rest it out, but I think I should go for my friend and just show up and show out. So it's a Blue Affair, and this is outfit. So this Dune clutch, you guys remember it from Mumbai? The same shoes because, like I said, my legs are hurting, my feet are hurting. So, nice kitten heel. Also, nice pop of color. And then this blue dress hair in a top knot. And these earrings by Beauty Galore. I think it's pretty. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like blue, but I do. It's nice. So, that's it, guys. See you there. I am here at Elena's, guys.
sunscreen by the way dr dennis gross i love it because it doesn't give you that white cast but oops mm -hmm. it's light with my hair in a bun i thought i'm gonna wash it but i'll do that tomorrow it is a monday happy monday i want to go and see elena quickly i will chill this back as i always do and uh yeah just a low bun addicted to this orange water So just some makeup, not too much. You guys know this. LA Girl, concealer, orange. But I also found my MAC Pro orange one <coughs> the other day. <coughs> so I thought let's do makeup together since some of you said you want. You don't mind. Here we are again. Sorry, now I'm putting on my foundation, NARS Barcelona. And I also did this kind of a pinkish from the Soft Glam palette. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. Recently, I don't know, December. Can you believe seasons? Compliments of the season. Season greetings, everyone. I know it's a time when everyone wants to be around their loved ones. Oh, by the way, Ellie put up the Christmas tree herself. Uh, on the weekend while her other sisters were out so that was a good activity for her mm, and uh, yeah I guess this is the time when I don't know about any of you but I reflect on things the whole year has taught me and this year has just gone by too fast so I've learned some things I've only learned some things which is which is normal I mean at 42 you have to get a bit of wisdom don't blame those who don't have it but I guess I I kind of have grown a lot in my own skin uh, my thoughts um, uh, I think I've become wiser cautious I have found priorities to be number one my children uh, followed by you know family work etc I have spent more time with friendships or friends, women friends, and I feel really good. I feel that I'm in a good space. Uh, everything's happening well. I do have anxiety about the future, um, just generally, I mean, but it's not something that is in our control. We plan and then God is the master planner, but I'm in a good space. Uh, now after a couple of months I do get that you know one off when I'm low and down it's n normally during the time of that time of the month like the other day I was so low I don't know I couldn't understand why um, and then boom I knew why um, so yeah life I've learned this year especially is my life is a uh, Accumulation of experiences like it is for all of us as a collective. Um, accumulation of experiences, good and bad, happy and sad. But I've learned, and I'm slowly learning also as I go along, to embrace whatever it is and uh, take it with a pinch of salt or just trust in the universe and understand that whatever is happening, oh, that's how, for you or against you, is for you. It is for you. That's how exactly the universe wants it to pan out. And that's exactly what will happen. And we have no control over it. My life is so far uh, experiences etched in my soul and in my heart and some on my skin in terms of line and shading. As you all will know, I'm referring to the tattoos. And um, if you ask me, do I have any regrets? Um, no, I don't have any regrets ending this year. Um, could I have done things differently in my life? Yes. But do I have regrets? No. Uh, because I wouldn't have been this person if it were not for my experiences that shape us. Um, 
I won't have felt so deeply. I won't have pained so deeply. I won't have laughed so hard. So everything is a accumulation of of our experiences in life. And I think this year has taught me that more than ever. To embrace the experience, this journey, in a positive light. No wonder I know it's not so easy. And I am, I mean, am I the one saying be positive? Yes, because I've learned sitting in darkness is only going to bury my soul further and i just going to sink and sink and sink. I can choose to be optimistic and look at things in life and in a, in a, in a positive light. As long as we're happy, we're healthy, those we love are happy, they're healthy, then I think that's what life is truly about. It's about the journey, it's about the riding the, the waves, the lows, the highs, I mean all that. So for me, I feel like, what is this? I don't know. So my liner. Gosh, where did this come from? Let's use this. Oh, I removed it that time, remember? Mm. <clears throat> this is really nice. What is this? Ultimate... It's Maxi Black Mist Line. I don't know where I got this from. And I even forgot. I've just been using another old one throughout. So, as we break for the holidays, I just wish you well. Hopefully, there'll be a new vlog from me in a week. I'll try my best. It is also the week that kids are closing school. So, as you can imagine, it's quite hectic because there's uh, concerts, end of year concerts and things that happen. I'm sure with you a lot too. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm choosing to look at life positive. Only positive. I mean, the negative is always there in life, isn't it? And we've sat with it. We've, I have sat with it too long and... It's about time. No. Well, I don't mind. It's, it's there. It's there. But do I need to focus on it so much? No, because I think everything just sorts itself out in the end. And we have no control over things sometimes. We don't. Oops. We can only take control of making ourselves happy. And if we are happy, then that's what we can control. That's what I'm trying to say. And, yeah. Put yourself first, then everything else will come together, I guess. I mean, three years, if, three years ago, I mean, three years ago, if you'd asked me this question, I probably wouldn't have been able to answer it the way I have uh, with having such an open mind. But, um, like I said, um, life is a accumulation of experiences and... That's what it is. If you live life thinking you will plan everything and everything will go as per your plan. I mean, for those that it has. This I've not used still from Estee Lauder. I still have to show you. This is one of the items I got from Estee Lauder. The goodie bag on the weekend where I did painting, but I'll show you. But I'm not use it. Actually, let's see. Hmm. I don't really use this jiggy thing. But it's alright. Oh, it's good for cleaning the, the nose pin from foundation yeah so I guess that's what I'm saying am I even making any sense I truly hope I am and yeah I think I will lastly just show you this outfit um, what I got from Estee Lauder and then end this vlog here because it seems like it's going to be another busy week schools or I don't even know how to check my mail there's a lot happening. And I'm also finding it, I don't know how I do it sometimes. It's a good question people ask me. How do you do it? Well, one, I have a great support system. So that's a good thing. So it's not always all me. Also, the girls are not babies anymore. So they pretty much handle themselves every time. They need to go somewhere, you know. They plan, we just execute it. But they are the planners 
growing up super fast. Like Annelise is taller than me. Ellie's become so tall. Alicia is still shooting up. Hulk, stop it. So, yeah, I think as children grow, things become easier, but not so much easier in terms of when they were babies, it's different. You have so much to do and diapers and all this. Thank God we're not buying any more diapers in this home. Um, gosh, this dog. But it's just a, a matter of, uh, like, you know, as they grow up, bigger problems. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that. But nicer problems, but still challenging. I think as they grow up, uh, that you start seeing the challenges with them, their peers, their friendships, uh, how they feel about the world in general. There's there's quite quite a lot this that goes on in their minds, and you can I can see them just growing up and thinking like big girls, and you know it's it's all it's daunting, it's scary, but it's also fun as uh, for me as a mother because I'm such a friend to my daughters and my son, and. Uh, we speak about everything, everything. So that's that, guys. I shall love you and leave you, and hopefully I can show you what I got from Estee Lauder. I already unpacked it. I tried to shoot it. That video did not come out right. I don't know why it was overexposed. So I put everything in this, the small pouch that it comes with, and then I'll just share that with you. And then from me, it's Sayonara, Love and Light. So, guys, what do you think of this hairband? I think it's cute. It's actually from Alina's store. Uh, I picked it up, when was it? The other day, at the blue outfit. She gave it to me. So pretty. And it's Italian. It doesn't even hurt the head. I just feel like... Should I just look like a princess again? This is the white dress. This is from Ruth Odiambo Styles. And it's one of her pieces. So cute. And then, because it's quite a... Well, it's a little large on me. Can we even see? Yes. So I paired it with my Chanel belt. And then I'm thinking the Samantha heels. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. The kitten, the flats. I have the Sakura and the Samantha. I believe these are Samantha. I'm not sure. But this is a vibe. This is kind of the vibe I'm going for cute for a Monday. Unexpected, definitely. And there goes my phone. But I feel cute. So this is what I'm looking like. I don't know if I place it correct. It's cute. It's giving me cute vibes. Yeah. Love it. So I'm off, guys. This is it. That's my outfit. I feel cute and pretty. And, oh, the bag will be... You guys know... I mean... Very apt. Yeah. Pearl, pearl, pearl. Perfection. So that's that. And then now I'm wondering, this is that Estee Lauder bag that I got. The the PR. Everything I got is in here apart from that foundation brush. I think we should leave this for the next vlog. And it is much love and light from yours truly. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And hit that bell button down there. See, I've even lost it. Press that bell, okay? To be notified every time I post a video. And it's love and light from me. Mwah.